In this video, I'll show you how to install PowerLink G3 to G4 template conversion utility and how to use said utility. For this video, I'll be using a PC running Windows 10 and LCS Advanced version 1.1.0.21 as well as LCS V2 version 2.0.22.2. First thing we'll do is go ahead and install the software. I have mine previously located on my downloads folder and it will come as a zip file go ahead and extract that folder this is the extracted folder go ahead and locate the Pro powerlink configuration tool application or powerlink configuration tool.exe right click on that file and run as administrator the first thing you'll see is the import path location and, and the export path location. So let's go ahead and work on creating those files and that import path location. So if you don't previously have uh, G3 templates, go ahead and open LCS Advanced. And this is just a particular system I have, but you can have your you know defined systems open up the defined system that has the controller configuration in it right click on the controller that you want to export or to have the template converted go to export options and device template go ahead and name the template so they can recognize it when you go through the process make sure to include the breaker uh, information and then say OK now if you uh, don't have this the device latest configuration you can always connect to the controller do a sync uh, and retrieve if you're online with that controller and then you can do that export process and it's going to save it in your save path location which uh, currently I have mine uh, to the desktop but the default location is your uh, local drive square dividing control LCS advanced but I've saved mine on the, the desktop so let's go ahead and locate that file on my desktop to show you that save path location Square Delighted Control, LCS, Advanced, um, the particular name of the system, and then Templates. So this is where I've saved multiple templates previously. And if it confuses you, you can go ahead and delete these and do a single file at a time if you're doing only one controller. But this uh, utility has the ability to do multiple templates at a given time. So if you want to put all your G3 templates in a single folder and you can import them all at the same time, that would speed, it, speed up the process. Um, to, to import all your old templates into V2 and convert them to 3500 controllers. So now let's go ahead and work on our save path location and that's going to be in LCS V2. So let's go ahead and open LCS V2. And the thing I recommend is in the utility you can go ahead and just say browse and in the save path location for V2 is uh, program data this is the default location, Square Delighted Control, LCS, and it'll have a templates folder, but inside the templates folder, it won't have any folders unless you've exported previously in V2. So you can either create that manually by right-clicking and go to New and Folder and name it the model of the controller. So in this case, it's going to be uh, NF, Nancy Frank, 3500 uh, controller, so uppercase NF 3500 or you can go into the software connect to a given controller and for this example we do a direct connect connect to the controller open that particular controller do a configuration I just can go out and read the configuration off the controller and then do an export and so that will actually create that folder location if there's not one previously located. Once you have that save folder located, you can go back to the utility and you can export that file to complete that process. But now go back to the utility and choose that NF3500 folder which you've either created manually or that the software created when it, you did that device export in V2. Now these are just save path locations. So for example, on the import path location that we did on our desktop let's go ahead and choose that location particular system 
and templates. Now, no files are going to show up here. Don't, don't be concerned. This is just a folder location because we're able to do single files or multiple files with the utility. So just go ahead and select the folder location and you've selected the export location. So imports from G3, exports to V2, 3500 controller, and then we can do an import template. It's going to bring in every template file that was in that uh, import location. We can do single file exports or we can do complete conversion of all the templates that were in that file location. For this example we're just going to do a single file. We can rename that file so it makes sense to us. So we can say um, NF3500 or excuse me NF3000 G3C to NF3500 G4. So we have an idea. It could be the store name or number um, particular store or whatever you want to name it. So you have a destination for that. And then we choose that file that we want to export and we say convert template. So it's conversion complete. Now uh, uh, simple enough we could just convert the whole file, all the files that are in that folder location. So if you're a service technician and you have a lot of previously saved files that you would like to convert to 3500, um, which you can do, um, you can just save all those templates in a single folder path, browse that location into import, import those templates, and then convert all templates, and it'll say complete. So now that we've imported and converted the templates, now we need to take those into V2. So let's go ahead and close the utility. We're done with that at that point, and we can go into our V2 software. Now I always recommend, let's go ahead and start from the beginning, to go into a defined device or system. Um, there's some nuances to Direct Connect that uh, I'll talk about here shortly. But in device, we can connect to that particular device that you saved or created previously, or we can go ahead and set that up now. But we can open up that controller. This is the new controller that we're going to be sending the G3 configuration to as it's been converted. I recommend to go ahead and connect to the controller, do a configuration, which is going to, sh should bring, bring in your default locate, you know, default configuration, because you haven't really programmed anything. This particular controller that I'm connected to in the lab has configuration built into it, but, and then disconnect from that controller, import the, the file that you wanted to import or that you've previously exported. We named it you know, G3 to G4, and we say import. Now it's going to import the configuration. Now we can connect to the controller and write that to the controller, which would be the uh, new configuration file from G3 converted to G4, now sent to the 3500 controller. And that would be the process for using a uh, device. Now in, in Direct Connect, let me show you a little nuance on the Direct Connect. If we put the right IP address in and connect to that controller, open it, it go it connects to it with your indirect connect so go configuration and you'll see this configuration that's currently in the controller has some naming conventions so this is one reason to why I recommend the um, offline mode because here it shows uh, a configuration but if you go to import which should have multiple tags that are not these we go to import and import that file. Import. It doesn't show the, those tags here. So you'd have to write that into configuration just to see the changes uh, of that template. So that's one reason why I recommend using the uh, save device template path and doing it offline to make sure that you've got gotten the configuration that you would like to send to that controller.